Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another Meals of the Week video. So this week I'm going to show you what we've been eating as a family of five and then I'm actually going to be taking a couple of weeks off because we are heading away on holiday and we're actually going back to the same place that we went to last year which was in Mexico. So what I've done is added a little bit of the food and accommodation and what we got up to at the end of this video. We did get an awful lot of footage that we just never ended up putting together and the whole point of the holiday wasn't really to film it but we like to keep it for the memories so I know a few people have asked if we ever did upload that video so if you want to stick around to the end of this video and after all the foodie bits you can see what we got up to in Mexico last year and if you're not interested in that then just watch the food bit and leave at the end <laughs> it's completely up to you so let's go and have a look at what we've been eating recently. I'm just starting tonight's dinner and I'm going to make a butter chicken curry. So I've got the Indie Grand butter chicken sauce from Home Bargains. I really rate these sauces. I say it all the time. But if you read the ingredients, they hardly have any additives. They're literally just like water, single cream, onion, tomato paste, sugar, butter, fried onion, turmeric, cumin, paprika, coriander, cardamom, chili, coriander leaf, ginger puree, garlic puree, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, lots and lots of ingredients, but they're all ones that you would put in a curry if you were making it from scratch. So I really recommend these, they're about 99p. In here I've got some chicken breasts which I have chopped up and started to fry in some spray oil. I've added a tablespoon of hot madras curry powder, just because I can never leave anything alone and I have to add flavour to absolutely everything. I've also added a tin of chickpeas, because chickpeas are a really good way to get extra like fibre and protein into your diet. And they're also one of your five a day. I think one tin of chickpeas counts towards like one of your servings of vegetables. So if you have a tin in your cupboard, it's always worth popping them in. They give a really nice creamy texture to a curry as well. And I just really like them. If you've got them knocking around, then they can only add good stuff to a chicken dish or any dish really. I love using beans to bulk things up. And yeah, I'm just going to cook this off. I'm going to add my sauce, probably add a few more spices because like I said, can't leave anything alone. And I think I'm just going to do boiled rice because sometimes that is just the best with a curry. So here's our curry served up. I've just done some boiled rice and I've added some salt to the water and some turmeric. And this is what we have for dinner tonight. We've just got some simple ramen and gyoza for dinner tonight. Half of these are chicken and half a duck. I can't remember which are which. Um, the boys are going to use chopsticks and probably throw it all over themselves. Then we've got some crispy onions, some chopped red chilies and some spring onions <laughs> to go on top if anyone wants them. So it is Friday and it is burger night in our house. So the boys are having burgers. We're actually having some chicken a little bit later. So I've got some of the Aldi burgers in here and they have got cheese slices. I've popped some of the little chili gherkins underneath and then they've got ketchup in there as well. And these are just the Warburton rolls. And then in the air fryer, I have done some of the Aldi home fries and I've just put some of this seasoning on top. I think I've got this in B&M. It is a peri-peri salt. I just sprinkled that over the chips in the air fryer and they've had 20 minutes on 195. And this is what the boys are having tonight. So tonight we have got a Friday night treat for me and Steve. We're just watching a movie. So we're gonna have like a TV dinner. And we have got the, I think it's called Capsicana, tomato and coconut fajitas, lettuce, some grated cheddar, the tomato salsa that you mix up to go with it and some tortillas and we're going to go and sit and watch our movie and have like a little takeaway without the cost. Tonight's dinner I've done these farm foods pork loin kievs. I thought there was four in there and they were going to be like this size. There was actually seven in the box and they're more like this size. So they're a lot smaller than I thought but um, the cheese that spilled out the side is absolutely nuclear spicy. So if you're not keen on spicy these probably aren't for you. Um, I've done some broccoli in the oven, this is just the tender stem that I buy from Tesco, some chips in the air fryer and a few mozzarella dippers as well, just kind of a use everything up dinner, um, but yeah these pork loin kievs are 96% pork or something so they look quite nice but yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be like but this is what the boys are having tonight. So for tonight's dinner I have made like little chicken kofta kind of things with chicken mince, some tandoori seasoning and some fresh red chilli and then I've got salad with mine and we've also got some feta cheese in our salad like lettuce, some tomatoes, onions and a cucumber and then some sprinkled feta 
on the top and then Steve is having his in like flatbreads which I will show you in a minute and these look much better than mine they've got fresh red chilies all the way through them which are probably way too hot and yeah this is what Steve's having he's having flatbreads with his okay I have made my slow cooker chicken and broccoli stew I don't know why I said it like that stew so in here I've got potato carrot onion lots and lots of stock so i've actually got some vegetable stock paste some chicken broth and some chicken stock cubes because i had like a little bit of each one to use up and then i've put in two massive chicken breasts which i've taken out and shredded and then at the last sort of um last sort of half an hour i've put half a packet of sage and onion stuffing mix this always thickens it up and turns it more into a stew rather than a soup and it's just my absolute favorite oh and frozen broccoli probably about half a kilo of frozen broccoli because that's what i had left and it's a massive pot, it's gonna do my lunch for days as well. So to go with it, I got these um, pretzel top, no, cheese topped pretzel rolls from Lidl. They're just literally like a pretzel, but in a roll form with cheese on, and they're 39p. So I got those, and then this is our stew. And this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and I can't wait. Sorry, but these tater tots are looking perfection. Does anyone else from the UK with a UK accent feel really stupid saying tater tots? Because you're supposed to say like, tater tots <laughs> it sounds really strange coming from some of the uk accent <laughs> it just always makes me really cringe that's why we call them like hash brown bites instead because tater tots just <laughs> doesn't have the same ring to it anyway they are looking perfection they are all crunchy <laughs> yeah and they're not even deep fried they're air fried and this is basically what we're having or two of the boys are having one's having them in a wrap and the other one is having them on the side um, and then one of them is still at college and me and Steve are going to have something different later. Those potato tots. <laughs> potato tots. The uh, yeah, little bite things look really, really good. I'm just about to cook some chicken in the air fryer and uh, these are like chicken um, like pieces, I suppose strips, they're already pre-cut. I've got some chipotle and lime seasoning on here, some lime juice, some chilli, some fresh coriander and some garlic and I'm just going to pop them in and then I think we're going to serve some with jacket potato and some curry sauce because um, I accidentally opened curry sauce <laughs> and we didn't use it um, and then yeah the rest probably the salad so this is what we ended up doing with the chicken I suppose you can't really see it it doesn't look very appetizing but the chickens on top of our jackets which have been in the microwave and then the oven they've gone really nice and crispy we've got some balsamic roasted tomatoes and red onion as well and then I'll put the curry sauce on top with some extra green chilies. And yeah, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. It looks a bit odd, but I'm looking forward to it. So that is it for this video. Like I said, I will be back in a couple of weeks time and I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already. And now I'm going to transport you to Mexico and take you on a little journey of what we got up to last year. So our resort was in the Riviera Maya and it was all inclusive, which the boys absolutely loved. And I'm not going to lie, I enjoyed it as well because I'm such a picky person. Like not fussy picky, but I love a picky plate and being able to try lots and lots of different things. So we had buffet breakfast, lunch and dinners. We also had, I think there's 12 a la carte restaurants so you can book those and go out for more like a la carte meals where you can choose off of a menu. The variety was just amazing and I'm not going to say that it was all healthy. There was lots and lots of fresh fruit but there was also a lot of donuts <laughs> and this Mexican coffee is my absolute favourite. It's actually black coffee with sugar and cinnamon and they also put orange and like lemon peel in it. There's a really unhealthy donuts and pastries and that, but when you're on holiday, you have to make the most of it, don't you? And here's me pretending to be healthy by balancing out my donut with some granola and yogurt and some fresh fruit. And then here's one of the boys' plates who didn't really care about the fruit at all. So directly out of our room, we had these adorable little, I don't know if it's pronounced capywara or capybara. I was calling them capybaras, but I think it might be capywara even though it's spelled with a B, I think. <laughs> but anyway, these little guinea pig-like creatures, they're absolutely adorable. They're so inquisitive, and every morning we would sit outside because we were on the ground floor, and they would come right up when we were having our coffee and just sniff around, and they would pick up little nuts and things. They've taken them off there. <laughs> we have stuff. No. Oh. Didn't they have washed up cushion covers? Yeah. Those sprinklers. I know. Yeah. 
Oh, they put our mats outside. They were outside. Where were they then? They were by the bed. Oh, they were out there yesterday. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, how strange. Anyway, <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually speaking into the camera. Hello, we are in Mexico. It, it, we've actually been here a week and haven't done any vlogging other than little snippets because we're on holiday. So we haven't got the whole walk into the room as it should be when it's tidy. But I'm actually going to switch some lights on and I keep getting that wrong. So we've just come back from a lovely day at the pool. Um, yeah, <laughs> junk. <laughs> Bed's made nicely though. So the room service has been in and tidied up, which is very, very nice. So we've got a, I think this is a king size bed. It is absolutely massive. Steve can actually wet, lay like that way. We've got a TV. In here we have cupboards, ice bucket. We've got a coffee machine. We have a mini fridge which we leave dollars or pesos in every day and they top it up. So we've got some beer, we have 7up, Pepsi Light, we've got water and they pop crisps and peanuts in as well. And they're really, really accommodating if you leave a note saying what you prefer and some money, they will do that for you. Um, just all our bits and bobs. Not a proper like room tour. More clothes and bits in this one. This is our sofa, which also is like a single bed, but we haven't got anyone in here with us, which is pretty fantastic, to be honest. We have a mirror desk with all our plug-in bits and things. And we have our outside with our little balcony. They've washed all the cushions and that today. This is where we see all the wildlife every day. You'll probably see that. I'll have either put it in or I will put it in. The guinea pigs, they're not guinea pigs, they're capybaras. Um, we've seen, we've seen koatis, raccoons, capybaras, squirrels, birds, iguanas. And then if we come out of our room, we just turn this way. That's the boys there, in there. They usually sneak through this little gap. And that's the boys' room. I don't know, can't really see anybody. Oh yeah, I can just about see. And they have two double beds and a single bed. So the three of them are next door. And as you come back in, it's absolutely lovely. The resort's amazing. We are loving every minute. We've been snorkeling today. We have snorkeled with the sea turtles. Again, I will pop some of that footage in. Hopefully there's no un oh, there are a few undies hanging. <laughs> you know, you do washing on holiday. So we've got our bathroom, we've got a nice bath, a lovely rainfall shower. They give you products, so you've got bath gel, conditioner, shampoo. You get a hair dryer, and the handiest thing with the hair dryer is this little light, so you can leave this on at night, and you don't have to turn any lights on when you go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, towels, toilet. <laughs> Something else that was one of the highlights of our holiday was snorkeling with the sea turtles. They're absolutely amazing creatures. It's so hard to get tearful in a snorkel, but <laughs> honestly, I was losing my breath because I just never thought I would be swimming that close. And although you're not supposed to touch the sea turtles, I actively chase them. If you just swim along, they will come up and brush past you. You can see Oscar here, I think, coming really closely. And they just kept like bothering the people more than people were bothering them. Like people were giving them the respect and their distance, well, most people were. And the sea turtle would almost come up a bit like a puppy and be like, play with me, play with me. Here's one eating a banana that the hotel staff would send out for them and they're just amazing. I could have spent, well we did spend hours and hours just floating around watching them. I absolutely love them. There were so many games and so many swimming pools. We spent so much time in the water that we were pretty shriveled up but that's what you do on holiday. The weather was amazing as well. So in addition to the outside activities, there was also an actual mall in the resort, like a shopping mall. There was a sports bar that had a sports cinema. It was 24 hours all inclusive. And it also had a bowling alley in there as well and crazy golf out the back. So it was pretty good. It was very, very geared up towards family entertainment. There were the piano bars of an evening if you just wanted to sit and relax and listen to a pianist. And there was also live entertainment every single night and it was really decent entertainment. There were acrobat shows, there were tribute bands, there was comedy shows and there was even like their takeoff version of some of the West End shows and some Disney shows and there was never ever nothing to do. It was always something going on. As well as the shopping mall you had a Mexican plaza which opened up every night and was literally like a little Mexican street market inside the resort. 
and you could buy absolutely anything here and it was a real authentic experience because you had to haggle and you got accosted at every single stall and it was very hard to walk away without buying anything we did bring home a few souvenirs but not a great deal it was just lovely to be able to wander around at night and not actually have to have gone out of the resort at all I really can't say enough good things about the hotel food from the buffets to the a la carte restaurants to the snack bars everything was absolutely amazing really nice flavors the staff were so so friendly and we made some really good friends with them as well this was an Italian restaurant so Steve actually had a lobster pizza which is not something I've ever even heard of before but he decided that's what he was going for why not there were lots of themed nights in the buffets as well so you would have a seafood night this was a Mexican night where they did Mexican sweets and candy and candied apples all sorts of things like that jelly sweets everything was carved out of fruits and vegetables and the attention to detail was just lovely it's so nice when they make such an effort on presentation and we just were sport for choice even if you are the pickiest eater in the world you will find something that you like um, even if it ends up just being a portion of chips with cheese on One of our favourite evenings was the Japanese evening, it was so much fun. We went to two of these actually, this guy was a bit more experienced than the second guy we went, the other guy was really really young and he was just learning and he was so nervous but he was really really good. Um, but this guy had been there years and he was throwing food around and flicking things and catching knives and doing all sorts of things that I would never attempt in the kitchen and he had a real big personality as well so it was really good fun. So we also had kayaks, we had catamarans and we did loads and loads of activities. This was one of my favourites. This is Explore and it's a park just outside of our resort. It was about half an hour bus drive and we got to drive these all-terrain vehicles through water and caves and across bridges. We also zip lined from extremely high towers from one to another and as someone who's not fussed on heights I was quite proud of myself for actually throwing myself off of these platforms. Such a good day out. I highly, highly recommend Explore. We had the best time and if you follow me on Instagram, my pictures over there will probably show our faces. We were just loving it. There was also loads and loads of water sports and we hired jet skis and we just had a really, really good time. I'm very excited to be going back and very, very grateful that we're able to do it again this year. So I've probably got another four hours worth of footage, but I don't want to bore anybody to death. I will save that for close and immediate family and friends, and they're probably all rolling their eyes now. Um, hopefully I'll be filming some more this time we go, and I'll be doing an updated video, but we'll just see what happens. Essentially, it is a holiday, and that's how I'm going to treat it. Although, being a foodie person, I do love filming all the different foods and things, so... If you've got this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this little look into our holiday and I'll be back in a few weeks with another video. Take care guys.